Hello. Welcome to Pinnacle Studio's new features part two. These new features are going to give you more performance when using Studio. Let's get started. First, let's talk about Studio Import. One of the things I want you to see is that we have the ability to import Blu-ray and AVCHD directly into Studio. For example, you will see Blu-ray as an import option. Select Blu-ray and you will have access to a Blu-ray disc on the Blu-ray drive of your computer. This comes in handy if you need to re-import a movie that you previously burned in Studio. Simply select Start Import and Studio imports the movie from the disc. Some cameras also capture to AVCHD disc and Studio will let you import it. Pinnacle Studio also provides native support for the new Canon 5D Mark II. This is the first SLR camera to offer full HD video and many filmmakers are using this camera to shoot their films. Next, we are going to look at some new edit features of Studio. The first feature I want to show you is going to save you a lot of time when you are editing. In my timeline, I have some video clips. This clip has two effects on it an old film effect, and a lens flare effect. This clip has no effects on it. There is a new feature in Studio that will let me duplicate effects from one clip to another clip. Right click on the clip with video effects and the menu opens up. Now select copy all effects and right click on the clip where you want to apply the effects. From the menu select paste effects. The two effects are now applied to the new clip. That was so easy and saved me a lot of time. Another new feature that Studio has is called stabilize. This will help correct your shaky video clips. I'm going to play back a shaky video clip. You will see the camera is not steady. This is a common problem when shooting video. I want to fix it using Stabilize in Studio. Select the clip and open the video toolbox. Now select the plugin button. Under Category, select Studio HD RTFX. And under Effect, choose Stabilize and select OK. As you can see, the new effect is being applied. The technology behind this effect is the same technology used by professionals in major motion pictures. The ultimate goal of Stabilize is to keep the video clip level on the horizon, and it does this by zooming and rotating the clip. There are three presets to choose from, Standard, Extreme, and No Zoom. I recommend you experiment here to find the best preset for your clip. You also have the ability to create your own Stabilize. You can set the borders, auto zoom frames, and maximum auto zoom. Studio now offers support for 24p camera recordings. This is the same frame rate that feature films are shot in. When editing your 24p footage, go to the setup from the pull down menu and select project preferences. Under project format, we select HD 1920 by 1080 24p. Not only does Studio support this for editing, but it also supports 24p for export. Select make movie and under file you will see MPEG-2 HD 1080 24p. Studio can also create a video file that can be played back using a gaming console. Studio can create a file that can be played with a Sony PlayStation 3, Nintendo Wii, or Microsoft Xbox. There are two places to create a file for the Wii. Select file type, AVI, and under presets, Nintendo Wii SD. Or select flash video, and under presets, Nintendo Wii. This file can be placed on a USB stick or a hard drive and played using the Wii. To create a file for the PlayStation 3, we also have two choices. Select file type, DivX, and under presets is Sony PS3 SD 16x9. This will create a standard definition file. To create a high definition file, select MPEG-2 TS, and under presets is Sony PS3 HD. For those who have a Microsoft Xbox, select DivX, and under Presets, select Microsoft Xbox SD 16x9 for a standard definition file. For a high definition file, select Windows Media and the preset Microsoft Xbox HD and TSC. PlayStation 3 and Xbox files have the option of being played from an external USB stick, external hard drive, or the internal hard drive of the gaming console. Select Web and upload to YouTube. Studio now has a best quality preset. This new feature will allow you to upload your movies directly from the timeline in the highest quality to the web. Studio also has a new feature called Export Range. I can now select to export or upload only a section of my movie. It is easy to set up. Go to the timeline and find a new starting point for your movie. Now select the M key. The M key will set marker number one in my timeline. Now find a new ending point and again select the M key and marker number two is set. Under Presets, you will see Create Between Markers. 
Under Beginning, select 1, and under End, select 2. And Studio will only export or upload the section between the two markers. This will save you lots of time when you only want to share part of your movie. I hope that you enjoyed learning about the new Pinnacle Studio features. These new features not only give you great options, but will increase your performance.